y'all doing? This is Barry Baptiste. There's a lot of money to be made in credit card processing. The key is residual income. You don't want to chase money, you want money to chase you. And a lot of people say they don't believe that you could have money chase you. The way you have money chase you, every day you wake up, every month, and money's showing up in your bank account, that's money chasing you where you don't have to go out and get it because that's called linear income. You want to make money what's called through passive income. Peace, appreciate the knowledge. My name is Story King Brown. I own a company named Immaculate Travel Worldwide. What I wanted to know was, how did you initially approach your pricing strategy? Did you go from a percentage or did you go through a flat rate? Um, when it when it comes to when it comes to jets, um, they're priced per hour, so it's a little bit different of how you know you price um, a normal product. If that's your question, but. The jets are priced per hour because there's a certain uh, cost that me and you basically is just that's a fixed cost. I can't you know you know change that. However, right now um, jet fuel is at an all-time high. As you know, fuel is high, so the cost of you know fuel is high. So basically, jets are high right now. We priced it at a percentage, but we try to be as feasible and try to beat the competitors. Your competitive pricing. You don't want to be, you know, uh, ridiculously higher than your competition, and then you also don't want to be, um, like, ridiculously lower because it's going to impact your margins. And then, furthermore, something else you want to keep in mind with private aviation is that there's a certain amount of fuel that you need just to get in the air. Right. So certain trips are going to cost you a lot more than you would typically think, even if it's a shorter leg, just because you have to get into the air and you're taking a bigger plane into the air. So just a few things to keep in mind regarding your pricing strategy. It's Dre here in the building, corporate baddie, the elite, you know. Content creation is usually you're posting for other brands. So people who don't think that they're influential, because some people just may not feel like they are. So it's all about kind of just doing your research as well and finding where you can fit into the puzzle. Because it's just a puzzle and we're just all trying to put the pieces together. And that's how I was able to become successful.